I'm working on a fix for the roof too. Um, so I've been using this, which is a conduit split in half, but it buckles down on itself when it gets hot. So I've now got, it's the same thing, but I've taped some steel banding to it, hoping that the banding gives it some tension to keep it up there in case it starts to get too hot. So I'll see if this works, and if not, I'm just going to bite the bullet and buy the actual stuff and retrim the entire roof. So since doing the rebuild on the car, this vacuum port in the front doesn't seem to be doing the job for all of the accessories. So I did a bit of research and I found that there's actually a vacuum port on the back here that everything should be hooked up to. Instead of hanging off all of the pollution controls, the only thing that should be connected to that is the purge solenoid for this can. <coughs> or at least that's how they used to do it. So, um, I've put the one-way valve in here. I'm just going to hook up. This is going to go to the internal accessories. So that'll operate the brake release and the HVAC system. Uh, then that's going to be teed off to this, which is a vacuum tank. So I'm going to hook this guy into there. Then the cruise control, the old-fashioned way is it's meant to actually be spliced into the anti dieseling solenoid circuit. So I'm just going to do that. Pull this, 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 that, and all of them had a huge amount of corrosion in them. There's another plug back there. Also had corrosion, so I've cleaned up all of those. Now, pulled the battery, cleaned that, and cleaned the grounding point down there. Oop, on the engine block, actually, it's kind of buried there. There, cleaned that. Um, wherever the grounding strap went. Oh, there it is. Cleaned up all of these, and then uh, Jenny's been going over the whole car, masking everything up. So we're going to try and dye this black today. So we're going to try and cover up all the cracks with this stuff. So we've got the car masked up. I'm going to try and dye it black and see if the black dye goes in here and at least disguises it long enough till next year when we can replace this entire roof anyway. But, dupla colour. Let's see how good you are. That's the wrong orientation. Yeah, I think that's an improvement. It is. Yeah, it just looks like black paint cracking off the other side. Still drying off a bit, but it's managed to camouflage the cracks pretty good. I like it. I think that we'll probably if we redo the roof, we're going to put a black roof on. Because that just looks too tasty. Today was a whole bunch of work on the car that you can't actually see. I unplugged every connector under the hood and cleaned it and there was a lot of corrosion in all of it. Redid the engine ground, the chassis grounds, uh, cleaned up the battery terminals. Again, I've cleaned them a few times now. Uh, also got under the dash, checked all the relays are working, tested all of them okay, checked all of the fuses are okay and cleaned all of that stuff as well, which is all things you can't see, but it's running pretty great. Um, 
course it's like apparently the last nice day of the year ever I went ahead and did a bunch of extra stuff I didn't super feel like doing today but we did that so there is of course the hood liner or the not the hood liner the roof um, that vinyl roof went ahead and dyed that whole thing black and it looks a lot better because that really disguised all of the cracks in it pretty good uh, changed the light bulbs in both of the fins. I already changed that guy a couple of weeks ago because I got sick of people almost rear-ending me. Um, yeah, it's come together pretty good this weekend. Everything I wanted to do got done and I marked off a few things on the laundry list. I uh, did find that the power antenna fuse was missing but as you can see the antennas still stuck in the fully up position so obviously that didn't fix nothing but yeah um, a few other little trimmy things 